Let's take a weak acid, acetic acid, originally at pH 3, dilute it by a factor of 10, and ask what is the new pH. So acetic acid, pH 3, dilute with water a factor of 10, is the new pH less than 4, equal to 4, or greater than 4? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, dilution will reduce the H3O plus concentration, but the HAC concentration is high and will release more H plus, so we'll have a pH less than 4. Or B, dilution will lower the H3O plus by a factor of 10, so the pH will increase by one unit to 4. Or C, dilution will lower the H3O plus concentration by 10, but the extra H2O will absorb some acid and the pH will be greater than 4. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. We've taken some acetic acid, HAC, at pH 3 and diluted it by a factor of 10. We're trying to determine is the new pH equal to, greater than, or less than 4. Well, the pH is 3, so the H3O plus concentration is 10 to the minus 3. We know that for sure. We're talking about acetic acid reacting with water to make 10 to the minus 3 H3O plus. Now we know K for this reaction is small. So to get 10 to the minus 3 here, we have to have much more than 10 to the minus 3 HAC concentration. This reaction favors the reactants. So to get a product concentration of 10 to the minus 3, we have to have a much higher reactant concentration. We think that's to be the case. Now we dilute it. When you dilute by a factor of 10, initially this H3O plus concentration drops from 10 to the minus 3 to 10 to the minus 4. If you look at this reaction, what you're doing is you're adding water. If you're adding water, that shifts the reaction towards the product side. If you have a greater volume, you make more ions to fill that volume. So a shift towards the product side. So after the dilution, immediately after the dilution, pH goes to 4, but then more H3O plus is produced by this equilibrium, so the pH goes from 4 to less than 4. It gets slightly more acidic than pH 4. So the answer here is less than 4. Now that's interesting, if you did the strong acid, and this was HCl, that totally dissociates. So you have H3O plus 10 to the minus 3 originally, you dilute by a factor of 10, it goes to 10 to the minus 4, and there's no more H's to be had. HCl completely dissociates in one shot. So the pH can't change after the initial dilution. So it's interesting, in a weak acid, the HAC, after dilution, the solution is actually more acidic than the strong acid after dilution. In this case, the pH less than 4.